All right, so introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Victor, 40 years old, from Sweden. And awesome. uh, I've been doing this now for two and a half months. So almost at the end of the 90 day program. Perfect. Yeah. So where were you at before you joined the program? Uh, I've been doing powerlifting for a long time. So I've been working out now. This is my 11th year. So mainly focused on powerlifting uh, and kind of felt like I wanted to get in a, a better physical shape. J just physique point of view, uh, getting more ripped. And uh, yeah, I, I had no issues with the strength training or uh, let's say the discipline to go to the gym. For me, it was more Let's say the, the other part of it, which is just, okay, I want to get a good seat for, uh, for the summer and see uh, uh, what's needed and, and uh, as well as getting a bit of a kick in the ass to actually start doing it. There you go. And then, so now, where are you at now after the program? So far, eight weeks in. Uh, right now, like I probably haven't been this lean like for over eight years plus uh, at the moment. So, so physique is looking uh really good and uh yeah uh de definitely uh the the envy of some of the guys at the gym uh, especially the quick let's say change that happened and they're like what the hell did you do uh sorry my cats just came back that's okay yeah and then i mean you were able to maintain even more size than your previous time you were just as lean right yep and then what about your strength too uh, strength been going up. Uh, did new did new uh, PR in deadlift, so uh, that actually went up, which surprised me quite a bit because every time I've been uh, cutting down, uh, I've kind of lost strength, and this time uh, that didn't happen. I actually gained strength as well, so that 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 was a bit surprising. And I definitely think the biggest takeaway for me is is really let's say the dieting part uh the macros and and like the impact it actually has to to stick to it uh because for me like i thought i ate properly before yeah. um but yeah apparently i didn't yeah and then overall how did the journey go for you um for me it wasn't that like it wasn't difficult um food wise i actually ate more than i did before just different setup uh, as so, so in the beginning just getting those portions down were, were quite a challenge because it was just yeah. more food than i was used to uh and uh yeah uh, definitely more high intensity workout than i was used to because like strong lift or power lifting is, is few reps heavy weights and you send rest for five to ten minutes if you really need to uh and and now you were on a timer to actually like start again and and maybe one minute rest and yeah so, so that yeah. was definitely the uh, biggest struggle was probably the first three to four weeks just to kind of change the way uh, I, I did the training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like so you got, you got, you know, maintain muscle size, you're leaner than ever, you're more stronger than you've ever been, and you were able to eat more food. I think that's a win-win no matter what, wherever you look uh, at yeah, it. For sure. And and I still haven't like cut out on, on any of the uh, good stuff in life. So, of course, I've been thinking about what i'm eating and everything but still been going out drinking a few beers here and there uh, enjoying like the meals i want to enjoy when, when when it happens so uh yeah. yeah it's just been a bit more really on the macro side of thing that that's really where the big change i think from a diet point of view happened uh, and, and really like eating enough protein i thought i was but i wasn't <laughs> amazing man it's, uh, so this is something you feel like you could do, you know, sustainably, then maintain what you've gotten and stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, so for me, this will definitely tag along for the rest. Uh, I'll probably go back, like now it's been 90 days of, of kind of more bodybuilding workouts. So I'll probably swing back and do a little uh, like powerlifting just for a few weeks mm -hmm. again to see where I am, but still maintain the diet and everything, then just revert back to uh, a similar kind of setup and and go back and forth because that's also always good to like uh, do variation in your training either way and Amazing. i do enjoy the lifting as well of course of course yeah so what advice would you give to someone that was stuck in the same position you were in uh, well i think the accountability and actually like 
give yourself a good kick in the ass is, is what's needed sometimes. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I know a lot about training side, didn't know that much about like the dieting side or, or that focus side. And I was like, let's just do it. Let's see what someone else can, can contribute with and actually listen and just do it, follow it and don't have to think about it that much uh so so just follow a program is pretty nice when you have especially like i have a full-time job traveling and all that shit, and then then just actually having someone prepare that for you is quite nice and comfortable as well amazing 